right, my name is Rebecca Taylor. Uh, I go to Columbus Academy, I'm a senior there, and I wrote a play called Second Chances. Quotations in there. How so dopey crab of mine. Two men meet each other in uh, odd circumstances in their way to get a chance at a new life. Full disclosure, uh, I was uh, really pissed when I wrote this. I was like consumed, like I, I was like feeling really spiteful. I was like not in the mood. So I channeled that into my writing. Honestly, I didn't have any takeaways in mind when I wrote this. I, I just, you know, hopefully you'll pay attention. That's what every writer wants. But other than that, uh, just enjoy it. Analyze it, overanalyze it, please. That's what I do with everything. So, I'm just going to wait here? That's what they said. How boring. Hmm. It's heavier than it looks. Hey, put that down! Oh, I'm not gonna open it. So? We were told not to touch anything. And no one's stopping me. It's important! Oh, really? And you know this... how? Well, it would make sense. Those guys seem deadly serious. They always do. What do you mean by that? Like in the movies. The big mysterious facility with the stone-faced guard guys that'll kill you if you breathe wrong. We're being given the opportunity of a lifetime, and you're thinking about action movies? Yeah. You got something better? Well, they really seem to mean it. it doesn't mean anything. If you're talking about action movies yeah, again... Yeah, yeah, I get it. Relax. I still think you should put the box down. Fine. If you're so concerned with it, you should have it. What? I said you should have it. Go on. Neither of us should have it. Whatever. Are you trying to ruin your chances? What chances? We're not getting anything out of this. Oh, we are guinea pigs to these people. No, we're not. We could really be helping people. That's what the doctor said. Yeah, sure, that's what he said. But you really think you're gonna follow through on any of this? Of course I do. I have to. <laughs> you have to? Yes! <laughs> this is my last chance to get myself back on track. <laughs> What is so goddamn funny? Your total faith in these guys. Do you really think they're actually gonna help us? Why wouldn't they? Why would they? I mean, we're the, we're the ones at the bottom of the barrel. We're the ones the rest of the world has written off as irredeemable. No one is irredeemable. Look at our lives over the past few years. Say that to me again. I'm not gonna lie and say it hasn't been hard. Here we go. Will you just listen? Fine. I'm not going to lie and say it hasn't been hard. I haven't seen my family in a long time. Too long. And I've made mistakes. One so bad that I can never hope in a hundred years to recover from them. But what they're offering us is a chance at a real life. And I'd never be able to live with myself if I didn't take it. All I'm saying is, take this chance with a grain of salt. I can't afford to do that. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> what I don't get is how you're so blindly optimistic. Call it a coping mechanism. I have to believe that this trial will bring something better in life. I can't believe in only darkness. <laughs> Why are you here if you're so skeptical? Simple. Curious. And I was getting bored of rummaging around dumpsters. <laughs> are you ever serious about anything? I try not to be. Why do you ask? Why do I ask? Um, I don't know, maybe it's because I just poured my heart out to you all sappy and everything, and you just brush it off without a care in the world? What, did you think I was gonna comfort you and say, there, there, here's some dopey crap of my own? Please don't touch the box. Finally. I told you so. Whatever. Gentlemen, are you ready to claim your second chance? Yes, doctor. Let's begin. Hold out your wrist, please. Well, hold on a minute. Subjects 163, 164, failure. 
Send in the next two, Carla.